we're about to watch baby face E answer these questions. I think it's like six questions, maybe seven, something like that. But we're about to watch. Um in the field live, that's the name of the channel. And it said, Do y'all think everybody use the same excuse to kick someone out after sex? Gotta make sure it's on speaker though. Baby face E, man. Let's check this out. <laughs> Yeah, this shit ain't no sound. Hold on, let me see if I can get it. Something ain't right here, people. We're going to figure it out. Let me look on my phone and see if it got the sound. Yeah, see, it got the sound on my phone. I don't know why it ain't got the sound on. Finish the sentence. All right, there we go. Let's check this out. By the end of this year, y'all got to stop. By the end of this year, y'all got to stop capping, man. But I don't think y'all going to stop doing that shit. <laughs> I don't think y'all bitch-ass niggas going to stop lying. But we're going to see, man. Let's see what he say. Oh. Y'all really got to stop wearing other people's shit and saying it's your shit. Like, if I wear another nigga's shit, I'm going to at least admit, like, yeah, this ain't even mine. It's dog shit. It's a lie, damn. All right, by the end of the year, I fuck. Y'all gotta stop wearing Crocs, bro. I fuck with Crocs. I don't own a pair, but I like Crocs. Me personally. I don't care. Crocs ain't it, bro. Them be ain't it. Damn. Sport mode, all that. I don't give a fuck none of that shit. Them bitches gotta go. Just gotta go. They damn near lacking. Like they, you feel me? Crocs damn near lacking. <laughs> <laughs> you lacking when you got them bitches on. No cap. You lacking. Crocs, for sure. Finish the sentence. By the end of this year. It was a paragraph that I ain't get to read, so I'm going to let it play so I can read the paragraph. Y'all got to stop. Ooh, it's a lot of them. All right, by the end of the year, I fought. Y'all got to stop wearing Crocs, bro. Oh, I Five people on the set was wearing Crocs at, at that very time. Man, Crocs look comfortable, bro. I ain't never owned a pair. I was finna buy a pair last week, but Target ain't had none. So I gotta wait until Target gets some. What is the best excuse to tell a girl to leave your house after you get finished? Uh, I tell her I gotta babysit. I tell her I gotta babysit my little cousin and the person I'm babysitting, they mamas and daddies don't want strangers around them. So I can't have strangers at my house that don't know the kid. Only family can be around the kid that I'm babysitting. And it work every time. I ain't like what I do. I just like, I text my man's be like, they call me real quick and just be like, say this, say to you, I, I gotta do this, sir. Call me real quick and say, you gotta, I gotta pick my son up. They call me like I'm like call me at this time though. Call me. Put that bitch up. I make sure you FaceTime me though. Make sure you FaceTime so you can hear it out. That's smart. Make sure you FaceTime. That's smart. Loud. Like, turn the phone all the way. I'm like, what's good, bro? Like, hey, hey. feel me? Then I just like, yeah, I gotta do this. Leave. It work. I know niggas who do that same shit and it be working too. Sometimes I'm be the nigga that they call, not you know what I'm saying. What is the best excuse to tell a girl to What is your definition of a hoe? My definition of a hoe? Shit. It ain't really no definition of no hoe, for real. All women can have sex with whoever the fuck they want to. If you want to wait till marriage, wait till marriage. If you don't want to wait, don't wait. If you want to fuck a thousand niggas, fuck a thousand niggas. It's your life, baby girl. 
do what you do. I ain't, I ain't listen. I ain't gonna say nothing bad about you. If you look good and you want to fuck a hundred niggas, let me be one of the money. <laughs> fuck, are you talking about? Fuck, is you talking about, man? For real. But the real definition of a hoe is a bitch that sell like pussy. So that's my definition. Man, definition of a hoe. It's like, it's like when you just you just lose all respect for yourself. Like you just you don't even. You don't even care that you fuck, you just fucking. Like, you just, <laughs> you ain't got nothing going. You feel me? You, you, you trying to get with niggas. Fuck, fuck him just to make him mad. You fuck his man. It's like, you just really don't care about yourself. If you fuck another nigga to make another nigga mad, that's just some weird shit. Because I'm going to say 60% of the time, the nigga don't give a fuck anyway. Like, that's crazy. That's, you ho. After that point, like, like if you, like if you fuck another nigga, like if you a girl that's fucking with me and you fuck another nigga to get underneath my skin, it's not gonna work at all. I'ma just move on to a girl that's not gonna dog me and and try to make me jealous and try to make me try try to get me out of character because it's not gonna get me out of character at all. It don't even matter about the bodies. This is your definition of a hoe. It ain't something that you think Flint needs. I think we need to get them potholes fixed. And if I get some real money off this YouTube shit, I'm helping the pot. I'm helping fixing the potholes. I feel like we need more shit for the kids to do. I'm willing to help create some shit when I get some money that to to have the kids have to do something else other than some stupid shit. You know, I feel like we need new pipes for the water if we ain't got them yet. Um, if if every part of Flint ain't got them yet, and I would help that too. If I man, look, when I get this money off YouTube, bro, I'm changing the whole city, bro. As much as I can, I'm I'm helping everybody. Flint need a female rapper. We ain't got no female rappers. Like we do got female rappers. We got A1, and we got Tay Boogie, and we got a bunch more. But I recommend A1, and I recommend Tay, T -Boog, uh, Tay Boogie. I was going to say T Boogie. I recommend A1 and Tay Boogie. Oh, God. If you ain't tapped in with them two, tap in with them two right now. Right now. No, we ain't got nothing. Like, I don't think it's just a lot of female rappers. That just don't rap. I mean, it's something that's starting to rap. I heard a couple of them. It was hard, but like, I don't know. We ain't really got nobody from Flint that rap for enough. That's a female. Like I said, A1 and Tay Boogie, for sure. You rather date a girl who wants to wait until marriage or date a girl who cheats? I'd rather date a girl who cheat because I'm going to cheat anyway. I'm just keeping it a thigh with you, man. I'm going to cheat regardless. But it won't be that bad cheating on a girl who's going to cheat on me anyway. Cheating on a girl who want to wait till marriage is grimy. So I'd rather cheat on the cheater. That's her call. I ain't gonna lie. I'd rather date a girl cheat. Get back crazy. So it don't even matter. Like, Oh, God. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather just date a girl in cheat because I don't know. I don't be falling that hard anyway, so I ain't gonna, you know, she gonna do it. Exactly. What she do, I'm gonna do what I do. We both gonna be cheating. Fuck it. Smart man. You'd rather date a girl who wants This the last one. What would you do if you paid for a feature from a big artist and they verse was trash? Damn. What would I do? Shit, man. I don't know. That's a real good question, honestly. I don't know what I'd do. I about still put it out. Fuck it. That that's about what I'd do. Still put it out and just say fuck it. 
Yeah. Because if I want them to do it again, they might try to char- charge me again. But like a, a better verse, they might be like, man, I need, let's say I pay 4000 I I buy a feature for 4000 I pay them. I don't like the verse. Then they say, well, for another verse, another 4000 so I about just put that shit out and hopefully it do what it do. I didn't. It's a lot of rappers I know who done had features and the in the feature that they got was trash, but the song still went up. Man, man if that shit's super ass, I damn near be like, damn, like, hey, I damn near say something. Oh God, like they shit super ass. I damn near say something, but if it's like ass. And it ain't that ass, I'm like. He said, if it's super ass, I'll say something. But if it if it's just ass, like, bro, ass is ass. Look, I'm finna just walk him on this bitch, then drop it. And it and yeah, that's all you got. That's all you really can do. Just outdo him on his on the song. And people gonna be like, damn, you killed that nigga with that, that nigga that's bigger than you. Because you ain't gonna buy a feature from a nigga that's below you. So, hypothetically speaking, let's say I bought a, a verse from Lil Wayne and his verse was trash. I just out rap him, and then people gonna be like, damn, who is that nigga on the song who out rap Lil Wayne? Then Lil Wayne probably gonna wanna work with me again and try to get me on the next song and outdo me on the next song. Hey, they was like, hey, he walked him on that beat, so, but. Yeah, that was some smart ass answers right there, bro. This young nigga knows some shit, man. Shout out Babyface E. And shout out to A1 and Tate Boogie. Like I said, y'all go tap in and check them out. Two of the hardest in the city that's females. I was in the trenches, I had a block on me. I've been rich for a long ass time, but I am not home. Like I work for a body shop, I'm a Jeep painter. Hit his top, make his body drop, he in the street dangle. Hair tap a nigga, and all, he get to meet angels. Body slam a nigga in the club, like I'm Kurt Angle. Demon child, they sent the nigga up. What the fuck you mean you ain't got no money? If I ain't got it at the crib, then I got it on me. Four, five, hoes and a nigga size of pepper.